Welcome back viewers for another episode of Aliens vs Raptors. We're here today for Operation Code Jester. This is a small crash UFO in Germany, in the German swamps, in the middle of the Atlantic. Totally makes sense. But anyway, let's get down there and see how well we do this time. Hostile targets at the crash site. Okay, we've landed, and first up, before I say anything else, I am officially a freaking idiot. I built the plasma rifle last time, and because of how long that base management session took, I completely forgot I had plasma weapons waiting for me. So I'm sorry, Babel Red, you could have been my first person to try a plasma gun, a uh, plasma rifle to be more specific, but instead, well, you still got your old heavy ghost rifle. Ah, oh well. Anyway, beyond that, it's a small crash UFO, where are we? Map end over there, and map end is... Where is it actually? Right here. So we're pretty close to the left corner. So I guess let's move out and see how we are, uh, where we go, really. I mean, not much more to say, it's, we're in the middle of nowhere. UFO is all the way over there, so just find where the mount is, go for the mount, and go from there. So let's introduce a squad, we can get started. Okay, Acronymous, the gunner, welcome. Arnob, the Val- no, no, what are you? You're a Jaeger, that's right, you're a Jaeger. It's gonna be very interesting trying you out. You're a Jaeger. Uh, I'm Dubra, the Sniper, Internet's Arbiter, you're a Rocketeer. Crew explains the Archer with Proxy Mines, let's not mind our own squad. Uh, Sokos, the Engineer, Bebel Red, the Infantry, and Slawfest, the Scout. Okay, Slawfest. Cool. Good to know we're not, we're not about to die on upon landing. Let's stash you somewhere useful. Like here. Damn, you're slow. Damn, you are slow. What can I dash you to? Wait a second. Before you dash anywhere. Left side is where the map ends. So let's try to dash sort of towards the right, maybe. Just need to be careful. Let's try dash here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move everyone else up. Let's check a scan out. Yes, Commander. Oh, you have no scans. Never mind. Let's stat everyone up in that case. Okay, Max don't need to dash. Especially not Arnold. She has the mobility shoot. What's it called again? Like, I also can't remember. Like, Valiant, I think? I don't know. I think it's Valiant Devastator. I'm probably completely butchering it right now. I think old school Valiant though. The Valiant shoot. The shooter has jet boot modules. We'll see just how much how useful uh, actually is in practice. Okay. What do we have? Don't tell me floaters. Damn it! Uh, well, we don't win mounters at least, so let's go towards the mount. That's the one constant we know of. Uh, why does it have to be floaters? Or things. Let's try to be safe with you. Last time I dashed a scout. Yeah, I kind of got the scout into a lot of trouble. Let's dash you up to here. Moving out. Squad can keep up from here. I can't even make use of your scanners because uh, you're too so slow. Moving out. Ironic. I'm just too used to sprinter scouts. Roger. I mean, she did. She is my one of my fastest moving scouts before sprinter. I think it's uh, all my other scouts are Gary Sargent or above, so compared to them, she's slow. Okay. Okay, stay a rocket. Ah, screw it. Just, just dash you up. We need to get moving. Okay. Cool, cool, and... I don't know. Where are they? Floaters to my right. Okay. What was that sound? Well, I want Meld first. Meld takes priority over some stupid floaters. Where the heck up this Meld? If I dash here, what are the chances I'll meet contact my right? 
It's probably safer if I don't dash there. Well, where else can I move to? There's a blue move. There's blue move here. And you know what? We heard flows this way. Let's check the scan that way. See what we're dealing with. Just don't tell me it's another mega pile of flo heavy floaters again. Because it gets old after three if it's three times in a row. Okay, well it's one heavy floater. That's not too bad. Wait a second, how many struck Oh. Are you kidding me? Every single small crash UFO is a huge pile of floaters. <sighs> At least it flows this time. Only one heavy floater. Not too bad. I say Scout can keep going left. Everyone else, let's move towards the floaters and engage them. It's only one. Uh, it's only one heavy floater. It's not too bad. In fact, I got an idea. Hey, 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 hey. I, got, I got an idea. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Take cover there. It's safe, I swear. <laughs> like I said, I don't know how to use proxy mines. I've never used them before. Give me a break. I'll try it out, see how it goes. See how it goes. Uh, Baybill, why are you one tower out? That does not please me. That does not please me at all. And a Chronomus. Okay, cool. Steady a rocket. Steady your sniper shot. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And I guess Overwatch. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess you hit one guy. Okay, make that two hits on him, but still, that's not that impressive, really. If you really want to talk about it. I don't know. I'm not that impressed. It was funny, but I'm not that impressed. <laughs> well, rip you. Okay. Well, my understanding is, this is why you have a Jaeger. So how about we... Blow up some floaters. Make them feel slightly upset at us. Like... So? That was so pathetic. But to be fair, you are a sergeant. Actually, no you're not. You're an arbiter. You're not a sergeant. That was pathetic. That was a ghost... ghost uh... Rock launcher, right? I don't even know. Okay, you can't flank that guy, unfortunately. But what you can do is simply go say hi. Let's say from here. And let's see how well we do with this. So, shot number one. Yeah, that works. Okay, shot number two. You disappoint me. In fact, you disappoint me so much, I'm gonna give you a second chance at this. It's like a second life. Try again. Okay, so how about you go shoot... I should be thinking about captures here, really. Where's my engineer? Sokos. Yeah, let's move you up here. Let's try at least get one capture. That's probably smart. Good. Before I got a little too crazy with this. Uh, okay, as I was saying, shoot. And shoot. And let's flay the last little baby. One damage? Wait, what? Did that flamethrower seriously only do one damage? Oh, in the zone. Right, of course. That's kind of comical. Okay, cool. Explain. Just move you up to here. It will kill you. Hey, Mr. Floater. How you doing? Good. Good, good, good. I feel sorry for those floaters. I almost feel sorry for them. But I don't. 
Not really. Now, where is that mound? That's probably the only part of the map so I can safely move wherever I feel like. The UFO is all the way over to my right, so I can simply move you wherever I feel like. Don't need concealment anymore. Where? There, okay, cool. Let's move you that way. Cool. Okay, floater. One damage. One damage flamethrower. That's hilarious. And kind of sad. Let's grab the mount. The seam is more than one mount, uh, five mount this time. Ooh, six mount. Oh my god. It's gone up. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Sokos, let's move you up. And Arnob, still provide some cover for Sokos, will ya? Be a good mech for me. And what next? Let's just, where's the UFO? Over there, so let's move people up towards the UFO. Ooh, it's Mal this way. Wait, it's Mal this way. I don't know that. Okay, while well, we're grabbing the Mal. Oh. Surprise Mal. I like it. It's like Kinder Surprise, but it's Mal instead of some little baby's toy. Okay, let's move people up. Next turn, we'll try again capture. Thank you for panicking. Okay, well, Scout, can you possibly tell me where the outsiders are? Please? You are right here. Okay, let's move you up to this position and we can chuck a scan out. Hey, we have two motor trackers left. Let's use one. Nothing. Okay, let's chuck a scan right over here. Tell me if I'll trigger the outsiders if I move up to a mound. If I will, well, I'll probably grab it anyway. No, I probably won't. That's fine. Quick spains, grab the mail, please. Good. That's 12 mail. Uh, okay, let's reduce your health slightly. How much damage does this do? Let's move you here. I don't want to kill him. Yeah, let's try to kill him. Wow, that damage is pathetic. So we'll do two damage. Well, let's do that. Let's try to flank him at least. 90%. Do two damage, please. Good. And let's go for the capture. Sarkos. Come on, Sarkos. That was poor. Very poor effort. Not good enough. I expect better from you. Okay, and you're just gonna sit there. Let's move you here, I guess. And just, yeah, just sit there. And I don't know, steady your weapon. He's got no ammo. And he's panicking anyway. It's all good. Everything will be fine. No more mal, I think. So let's try capturing again. Come on, Sarkos. Good. Two flow captives. I and mean, we don't need flow captives, but still. That's two flow captives we would extra that we can sell. Make it sound like I'm into trafficking or something. Trafficking floaters. Okay, they're towards the left. Nice to know. Nice to know. I would like to get proper style sight on them though. So let's not rush it too much. Let's wait for the rest of the squad to catch up. Got it. Moving. Moving to designated coordinates. Hey, just a question. Hey, there's a hole in the roof. You know what I'm thinking? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a hole in this roof. There's a hole in this roof. Let's go for it. 
the holder's roof. I got the tools. I got the toys. Let's play with them. Uh, QX Bains. Just chill. We'll try to find out where they are next turn with the scout. Speak of the scout. Let's move you here. Did you just open the door for no reason whatsoever? Ah, whatever. Where are they? Where are they? No, seriously, where are they? What? What? Where is your friend? Oh, he's right here. One, two. Ah. He's not even in the UFO. They're literally outside right now. Well, that's disappointing. It's going to make my roof uh, jump a lot less interesting. Still, I want to do it anyway. I'm just worried I activate them. Let's try it. Good, no activation. And we'll stay there for now. Everyone else, let's move up. There's no way they can activate. We can move up all the way to UFO. It's perfectly fine. Where can I put a mine? Out of curiosity? Yeah. Maybe I'll move up a little more and put a mine on that doorway. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Don't think I've ever seen you outside is that far away from the UFO before. Like, sure, I've seen them on the veranda, but never like literally like a whole like five tiles away. That's just weird. Arbiter, let's get a rocket ready. Out. I'm Dubra. Get a saving shot ready. That'd be pretty handy. And Sokos, you have no more Octo Charges. Just dash up. You're probably gonna camp them or something. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Okay. So I can move all the way up to, let's say. Do I trust that? Let's not. Mine. Yeah, it's still not great. Still not that great. Let's do it anyway. Because why not? We can. We do it because we can. Oh. Did I activate them? No? Okay, good. I thought I activated them for some odd reason. Okay, Baybel, let's move you. Is that head flanked? No, so they can't see that position. Uh, okay, let's move you here. Okay, good. I was. I mean, sure, I said uh, it won't activate, but still, I don't trust the game sometimes. In fact, that's not flanked. Uh, I still don't trust that. So instead, let's move you up to here. Steer a rocket there. Okay, I'm Dubra. Can you possibly see anything from here? You can see him, who is too far away. Sadness. Let's try here. Nope, we can't see anything. You know what? They're babies. I don't need to say more on them. It's fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. And if I want to, I can actually escape them. Although I've never actually tried it myself. I've already seen it done. Maybe I'll try next turn. Let's actually try it. I'll just try this. I've never done this before. This does actually work. Hey, it actually worked. Sweet. Sweet. Beautiful. Okay. Now again, I'm not too sure where we'll activate them. So let's not activate them. Let's do it next turn. I'm simply not too sure. Instead, I think you can safely go one tile. Shouldn't activate. Cool. And let's launch a second mine at the same doorway. Because we can. Because we can, such an awesome reason. Okay, cool. Let's keep you here. Let's stay a rocket. Let's move you to here. Can't see anything. Okay. 
Can you possibly move somewhere to get some of all of them? Let's say... Okay, you're here. You're actually pretty big. Still, whatever, let's move you here. Stealth tactics to the extreme. Okay, Ardubra, where are you? Okay, well hopefully you can see him, I'll disable him. And you can simply move up here. Cool. Steady. Uh, just overwatch for now, and you can reload. Cool. Next turn we'll disable and go from there. He is big. And he's gonna die. Watch me. Disable. Now, where does he run? <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Oh, they didn't sell my mines! Oh, that's disappointing. I was so hoping to sell my mines, that'd be so cool. Okay, where can you go to? Nowhere useful. We can move you here, but it's not gonna kill him. He's gonna be problematic. We need a mech to deal with him. Oh, they sell my mines. I'm so sad now. In fact, I can't... I can barely flank you at all. Wow, that's really a disappointment. Oh, man. Not what I bargained for. Not at all. What to do about you? What can I do about you? I suppose I can flashbang him and he'll probably dash up to me. But beyond that, I can't really do anything. Wow, that's disappointing. Damn. That's just sad. That is just plain sad. Well, you're disabled. So, hello. How you doing? Let's take a try at you. Decent. Decent. Baybill, unfortunately, can't quite get a flank off. Not without standing in the open. And I'm not going to put Baybill in the open. That's just silly. So instead, how about... He's liable to move towards the right. So let's move you here. And overwatch him. It's not very good, but it's going to have to do. Let's dash you up to here. Let's dash Sokos up to here. QX Bains can go dash somewhere to hide. Like here. And Acronymous can move towards the left to try to engage this, this guy over here. And you will simply flashbang the outsider. <laughs> foiled. My master plan was foiled. Oh well. Let's see what happens. You're flanked. You reload. You don't even care. Wow. You don't even care. Oh, hi. Don't even care. Wow. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Take a shot. Decent. 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 Uh, sock cars. I don't want to get Overwatch, so that looks good. Take a shot. Good. 4DR. Yeah. Good, I guess. Kill him. Good. And let's see about... How about we move one tile? Cool. One four. And... Grenading his tree. Well, you tried, I suppose. You tried. I'm Let's move you over one city. You're not gonna do anything. Infantry can just move up and overwatch. Uh, I am Dubra, can't really do anything. Let's move you up to here, I guess. And, okay. Swordfest, and who else? Economist is way too far away. I guess all I can really do is 
I can flank him, but it's not gonna do me any good. Let's just steady. He's gonna shoot probably our knob, which is fine. Wow, there's lots of damage, but it's fine. I have armor. Perfectly within acceptable parameters. Because now you are dead. Observe. Blow in a rock. Yeah, that works. And a tree where you're at it. Good. Slow fest. Take a shot. Good. And Arnob, why don't you show him what you think of him shooting at you? Operational objectives completed. I admit, I fed Arnob a lot of kills that mission. But come on. She's a last call pro, or he, or whatever. The our opposite are our last core pro, and he needs to level up fast. So, what better way to level fast and kill everything? Let's go home. And honestly, proxy mines didn't impress me that much. I don't know, maybe I need to try them out a bit more. We'll see. But they really weren't that impressive. Not a single casualty. I'm certainly impressed by our soldiers' combat abilities. Thank you, Violet. Okay, Arnob is now a corporal. That's good. Five kills, one mission. That's pretty good. Uh, what here? I say let's go for Executioner. Flush is actually not a bad pick here. Why? Because Flush actually works within the zone. And it lets you handle those extremely hard to hit targets like Heavy Floater with every single defensive perk you can think of. That said, uh, let's look at the animal choices. ATA, you're not really going to be overwatching with a Jaeger. Not really. So let's forget about that. And lastly, Executioner. Jaeger's main job is to enter zone. In the zone means you're shooting a target which are nearly dead anyway. So this pretty much combos perfectly with Executioner. Plus 10 aim. Flush it plus 30 aim. So you lose some 20 aim, but you gain a lot more damage, you gain some crit, and it's simply more useful. I don't like Flush. And it doesn't cost you twice as much ammo as well. Flush takes two ammo to shoot, and you don't have that much ammo. Uh, in fact, you can get lock and load here, but honestly, I probably won't be getting lock and load here. Anyway, like I said, Executioner. And two captures, broken stuff. Let's go sell that stuff off, and hopefully this time we will not forget uh, our plasma weapons at home. In fact, weren't I building more plasma weapons than that? I thought I was building... Uh... Yeah, I... Surely, what? Let's have a look. No, we got four days, that's right. And reflex cannon in one day. Okay, scan ahead. I think I'll pass. I don't need another weapons core pro, and I could probably get a few scientists or engineers with that. Good. Okay. Let's launch some satellites. Argentina. Yeah, that's fine. Brazil. Yep, good. Nigeria. And last of all. Egypt. Now let's move some uh, intercepts around. So, namely, the guy is doing nothing in Europe. You can go to South America. One. And. Two. And who else? Three in Africa is probably enough. Four in Asia, that's probably enough for now. Yeah, I think this is good. Well, I probably should send one more to South America, shouldn't we? Let's send one from Asia. So. They sent you there. Cool. And it's and we with this extra bonuses what we can do. Wow, look at the monthly bonus. They were saying let's build a workshop. I should have done this ages ago before I started doing firestorms, to be perfectly honest with you. But still, scan ahead next month we'll build a halfway decoder. Contact Hello Harvester. I can try shooting you down, but chances are you're gonna land. So Good. Good. Wait, where do you say that is? France. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. Well, let me set my squad for this and I'll get back to you.
Okay, so this is what I'll be taking. Now, things to note, I'm taking only one mech. I could take two mechs, but I figure, let's just take one. Because if I take two mechs, I have to boot someone else off the team. And I don't really want to boot anyone else off this team. I want to have an engineer, I want to have my rocket here. And those two are probably my two biggest candidates of getting booted out. So, as it is, just one mech will do will be fine. I will be more than happy to lose a few of these troops for let's say easier missions, but for the hard missions I think I still want to have seven uh, flashy troops so to speak. We'll see uh, how that changes over time of course. Uh, beyond that, like the rest of the squad is pretty standard. Effectively, Tokyo Twin is taking over the assault role, so I'm not taking an assault anymore on these hard missions. Uh, instead, Tokyo Twin should be more than suffice uh, with her tanking abilities, with her damage abilities, with her head and run and whatnot. Uh, beyond that, like I said, it's a pretty standard squad, mostly mass sergeants because this is a large landed, it's a harvester, so it's not as scary, it's not a large landed transport, but still, we're taking it seriously, so we're taking a lot of master sergeants, so the only people who aren't master sergeants are Tokyo, Rainbow, and Duran. Mostly because I want to trade Duran up to the next level of size, so we can try and get mind control soon-ish, and well, we don't really need a mass sergeant engineer. The only thing to bring along to the table is Bob Barn, and I don't think I need Bob Barn that badly. Uh, so, this is the squad, like I said. Let's get down there and bag us a large landed. Let's go. is sending an urgent mission request. We've pinpointed the location of the UFO landing site. It's set down in an isolated area out in the country. We should be able to secure the area before the aliens have time to move. Operation First Hero. I really do wonder who will be the hero <laughs> because we've had a lot of heroes. If uh, The most famous one being Bad Yu-Yu all the way back in episode 45 I believe it was. Ah, that was a long time ago. But anyway, a large landed. Operation First Hero. That'll be it for next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave your thoughts and comments down below. I'll see you next time for, well, like I said, a large landing. Until then, see ya.